Hello, everyone. We are on a mission to interview 100 immigrant clients. I'm your host, Owen. Greece is about to change the policy again. The authorities have already held two meetings discussing the latest news on Greece's golden visa. Greece's 200,000 euros property purchase is set to rise to 800,000 euros. There's still time to lock in the old policy with only 250,000 euros. Is it worth it? Let's listen to our clients have to say. Good afternoon, Mr. Xiong. Hello. You decided to obtain Grace Golden Visa six years ago. What were your considerations for Grace at that time? Uh, there were three main reasons back then. Uh, the first reason was asset allocation, I think. Uh, in 2019, we were already considering the problem of the uh, domestic property market. So we thought about whether we should diversify some of our properties into different areas. Uh, the second reason was for vacation needs. My parents and I enjoy traveling to Europe for vacations. We go once or twice a year, but dealing with visas was always a hassle. So with the green card, we can travel freely without needing visas, not just in Greece, but in all Schengen countries. The third reason was about my parents' retirement. My mother has always hoped to live in a sunny place with beaches after she gets older. So having a healthy and comfortable place like Greece is a great choice. Europe has many countries. You've also visited many European countries. Why did you choose Greece as your only option? The first reason is the type of immigration program. At that time, we were comparing between Greece and Malta. Malta had a government-bound program, which later seemed to have changed to a donation program. We have a more consumer-oriented mindset compared to traditional families, so we thought about choosing real estate. Uh, so when comparing real estate immigration among several countries, uh, like Greece, Spain, Portugal, and Cyprus, Spain and Portugal were twice as expensive as Greece, while the prices in Greece and Cyprus were about the same. However, uh, Cyprus hasn't joined the Schengen area, so their green card doesn't allow for free travel in European Schengen countries. Uh, this couldn't meet our needs for vacation and leisure, so we found that Greece's green card was the most cost-effective option for our needs. You visited Greece many times. What are your feelings about this country? Uh, I feel very good about Greece. Firstly, the food in Greece is delicious. Whether in Athens or on the islands, everything tastes great. Secondly, life in Greece is very convenient. I take buses, subways, and ferries, and it's very smooth. I've uh, explored the areas around Athens on my own, and everything went smoothly. Thirdly, the cost of living in Greece is reasonable. Uh, compared to living in Hangzhou, eating, drinking, and having fun there is almost the same. It doesn't add pressure to my daily expenses living there. Additionally, the scenery is fantastic. As you know, Athens is close to the Aegean Sea, uh, with its incredibly blue color, and the islands are so beautiful. You've shown great foresight in your investment. With the Greece Golden Visa, you can travel freely in 30 European countries. Moreover, the location where you bought property has already undergone political changes last year. Back then, you only needed 250,000 euros to buy a property to obtain the Golden Visa. You really saved a lot of money. Do you have any advice for our audience regarding property selection? Uh, I think choosing a house is similar to choosing one in China. Uh, the first thing is location, which is crucial. When I wasn't very familiar with Athens, I did some research and communicated with many colleagues at Gold Visa. They uh, suggested some wealthy areas, costly areas, and vacation areas, which were our first choices. Uh, secondly, consider the uh, convenience of transportation in the area. I remember the area where my property is located is very close to the core center of Athens, so I don't need to worry about taking a taxi or so, I can just walk there. Thirdly, we should pay attention to the surrounding environment. For example, the area I bought in has a lot of parks nearby. It's very comfortable to go for a walk or exercise in the morning, and I can go shopping or to restaurants in the afternoon. Uh, finally, you should consider whether there are good schools and medical facilities nearby. Um, although I don't have kids, but I believe this is something that many families with children need to consider. Thank you very much, Mr. Xiong, for sharing your valuable experience and insights with us today. Thank you.